Good day and welcome to Jaws Tuesday Tips for Success in Home Business and in Life. We hope you are ready for success. Good Tuesday to you and welcome back to Jaws Tuesday Tips for Success. Today we're going to talk about the need to understand the pay plan. If you're getting involved in a home business, sure you're going to be excited, sure you're going to like what you see, but do you really understand how to make money in that business? Hopefully these tips are going to help you out. I'm going to share with you three key things to ask. These are three key things that in my success, I have looked at and evaluated and looking at an opportunity in a pay plan. So we start out with type of pay plan. Most common are binary, matrix, stair step, breakaway, unit level, and even two ups. Each has its advantages and disadvantages. So you don't necessarily have to put one or the other down because what you really want to look at is, first of all, are people having success in this company? And as we talked about in the previous video, the first one, is this company involved in uh, products and services and, and even a pay plan that has a pattern of success in the industry? So if you have those things put together, bottom line is you can probably be successful with that company, regardless of the pay plan, regardless of the advantages and disadvantages, because each will have its advantages and disadvantages. Each has been used by various successful companies, and that is what matters. Is there a pattern of success? Many companies have hybrids of two or more of the most common. So that's how they kind of get away from some of the disadvantages in one versus the other, because they, they try to merge the good uh, of two or three or even more in some companies or creating their own variations thereof to make sure that a person getting involved in that business has a pay plan that can work for them and work for the average person to be successful if they're truly working the business. Knowing the type of pay plan defines the method of success and income potential. So it is important to know the type of pay plan that you're involved because it's going to pretty much kind of define the route, if you will, uh, sort of mapping out your way to success. Number two, qualifications to be paid. This may be one of the foremost of the three because a lot of people will go and watch a presentation and they get excited about the presentation and what they saw. It's called sensationalism. You know, they're all fired up and you should be fired up because if it's not a good presentation, not only are you not going to want to get involved, neither is a person that you're going to share it with. So you want that to be in a presentation. You want sensationalism. You want a certain level of respectable hype to be involved in it, but not misleading and misguided in the way you kind of break that down or come off of your excitement and focus on the real deal of building that business is finding out what are the qualifications to be paid with all that money you just saw in the presentation. What it takes to earn from a great product and pay plan determines when and how you get compensated. This is important. So don't just jump in and expect to make money. Know what it takes. Inquire about qualifications for pay at all levels or rank advancement. If multiple levels and ranks exist, be sure that you clearly ask, are there multiple qualifications that must be met in order to get paid as you advance in rank or advance in the levels? These are essential things that are important when you're evaluating the compensation plan, the qualifications to be paid. Some businesses, uh, if you have maybe like a force matrix type of pay plan, you can get in and make money. But a lot of people don't think about are there qualifications there because you may not get paid on all levels of that force matrix unless you personally refer someone or sold a certain amount of products. So again, why you want to understand the qualifications. If you don't know the qualifications to be paid, you may not be getting paid. So that pretty much defines the importance of understanding the qualifications. Last but not least, what is required to earn X amount from the pay plan? You may ask what type of pay plan. You may ask what the qualifications are and you still may not really kind of get it. Well, this, when a person shows you this, it should really help you understand, but you have to be asking the right question. So ask, what does it take to earn 500? What does it take to earn $1,000 or even $10,000? Not just one time, 
but monthly because if you are in a networking home business you're looking for that business to pay you on a monthly basis more than likely you can usually get it all narrowed down by asking these type of questions 500 is kind of the threshold three to five hundred dollars is kind of the threshold of of what's been said the money that people need to stay out of things such as bankruptcy so that's a good figure to ask one thousand dollars is kind of where you really kind of get into what can be somewhat uh life-changing for a person in being involved in that business i mean you just think about it right now what if you had an extra one thousand dollars coming in especially on autopilot monthly income that would be exciting right and then now you're talking about what they call that zip code changing ten thousand dollars or more on a monthly basis so you don't want to just look at one time you want to look at the monthly aspects of making this type of money so if you combine this question with the other two we talked about you should really be able to understand that pay plan things such as how much product sales and volume personal or group is needed how many team member referrals personal and or group are needed in order to be successful in order to make the amount of money that you have identified if you want to earn x amount then you need to know what it will take to achieve your income goal so this is why it's important to ask what is required to earn x amount from the pay plan and make sure you get a clear and concise answer asking these key three things should really help you understand the pay plan and get away from all of the excitement and really get down to the facts yes facts are important even though stories are going to sell and help you be successful in that business you want to know the type of pay plan you're involved with qualifications to be paid and what is required to earn x amount from the pay plan we hope this tip has been another tip to help you be successful in home business and in life. So until the next time, we thank you for watching and viewing and be sure to comment and give us feedback on these tips for success in home business and in life. This is Ja Kefele saying make sure you have a successful day.